Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's the end of the year. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. New Year's is coming. Still got my Christmas set up going. Got my red and green ropers out there for uh, for Christmas decorations and stuff. And it's uh, it's been a, a really fun season. That's, that's for sure. It's been uh, really nice. Uh, we'll probably do something about Christmas knives in a while. I still got some that are coming. They're in the, they're in the mail and in shipping and stuff. They, they, I didn't get them, uh, ordered all the way, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. It's, uh, one of those things if I'll have to look back in my memory and see if I, if I can even remember. I mean, I remember what I got for this Christmas, but then I don't remember what I got for, uh, last Christmas and the Christmas before, uh, I'd have to actually go and look because, uh, you know how memory is, uh, is faulty and that's just the way it is. Anyways, let's get on with this one. What we're talking about this, and, and I'm not talking about, this is going to be like a best of uh, 22 series and it's not, uh, these knives are all, you know, favorites of mine, but it's not necessarily like one is going to be the, uh, ultimate one or something like that. I'm going to leave that for you guys. I'll let you guys decide what you decide you want for your best of uh, 2022 in these in these categories. Now, each of the videos that I'm going to show, or videos, I'm sorry, each of the knives I'm going to show has a video on it already. And uh, so you can always go back if you want to see more about a knife. I'm not going to go into great detail with everything. But I just thought this would be just kind of a fun overview. I just kind of looked back on the past videos and said, you know, what's going to be like my top five or six or maybe a couple more knives, depending on uh, the categories and stuff. But these are going to be my top uh, fixed blade knives. So let's start with this one here, the uh, Rough Rider Shoreline. We'll go with the new name that they have for it. I still think of it as the RJ Special, but this has kind of become my you know, channel knife because it matches my uh, my board, although the wood on here is a little bit uh, lighter. Uh, it's just, it's a really nice knife, fits in the hand really well, pretty beefy. This is the small version. They also have a longer version, but as we're going to go into it, small fixed blades have kind of taken over my, uh, my world lately. When I think of fixed blades, Although, you know, I'm not against a, a nice, huge uh, knife, and we'll see some some of those coming up in the future, uh, hint, hint. But then, uh, you know, but for everyday use, these guys are, are great. You know, usually about, you know, seven inches, you know, so you got like a three inch blade and a four inch handle. These are just perfect for everyday carry. And I like this one. It's got the uh, the fullers on one side, but not on the other, which I think is an interesting design choice. I kind of think it would be good on both sides, but that's just me. And I like the little star that uh, screws in the uh, the rat tail tang that I'm sure that this has, but uh, really a, a nice knife. It really is very handy and I like it. The Rough Rider Shoreline, uh, although I think I don't think I called it that in the video, but it'll have a picture of it. You'll, you guys will see uh, what's going on with that. Uh, another knife that uh, really kind of took my uh, imagination this year was the uh, the good old uh, old timer sharp finger. This is the generational series knife, which I think is the most beautiful of the sharp fingers that I have. Full tank construction. Uh, chestnut bone, saw cut bone, uh, handles, and 1095 stainless, uh, or 1095 stainless, huh. 1095 carbon steel. What is wrong with me today? See what happens when you take a little bit of time off for Christmas? You forget everything that you even thought you once knew, and it's not like I knew a lot. My knowledge is running out of my head. It's, uh, <laughs> that's what happens. You get lazy, and that's what happens. But yeah, just a just a really great knife. Really love it. Nice little uh, trailing point uh, skinner. Uh, you know, just really a very uh, very awesome little knife. But uh, definitely one that I would say fits into my uh, small uh, fixed knife obsession that I've had. 
but that's a good one. The uh, Old Timer 152 OTG Sharp Finger. Now the next one, these are definitely ones, this is the Roper Deadwood Jr. And these little, uh, you know, bird and trout knives are really what uh, have fueled this kind of a uh, passion. This has the zebra wood uh, handles, really neat little knife. You can still get four fingers as long as you don't mind uh, having a, a slightly cramped uh, hand, but the way that that uh, pommel is shaped, you know, if you relax your, your fingers along it, you still have lots of control. Uh, these are just fun little knives. And uh, this one here, I believe it is, uh, does it say? It is stainless. I forget the stainless off the top of my head, but uh, since it's a uh, knife that's basically designed for hunting and fishing, stainless is not a bad choice if you want uh, easy care, easy cleanup. But I just like that knife. It's, it's a lot of fun. The uh, kind of brother to that one, would be from Rough Rider, and this has got the uh, the stag uh, handles on it. Their little bird and trout knife, uh, roughly the same size, uh, 440A. Just a, a really sweet little knife, and with the stag handles, I mean, just really a beautiful knife. Something that uh, you have as much fun looking at as as using it, but definitely right there with my bird and trout obsession, which will continue on into this next year. Uh, this is a small neck knife. Here's the CRKT Spew, and definitely a knife that gets a lot of use uh, from me. I love how this uh, fits in the hand. Nice little bit of jimping here on the, on the ramp. This is the standard uh, model. I forget if it says which steel it has. It does not. It, maybe it's a Foltz design yeah I think that's just the uh, the model number there uh, I'd have to look it up or you can look at this was in my uh, Easter special so if you want to see me acting silly definitely uh, check that one out uh, and this is just a really great knife and uh, really good for peeps if you've watched the video you know what I mean uh, so it is a really fun knife the other one definitely was part of my Fun Knife uh, Friday uh, thing, and that is the Cold Steel Recon Tanto. Uh, when I was with uh, Thrifty Kniffy, and he did his slice of life, and he asked me what what knife I'd take if I was stranded on a desert island, uh, this immediately popped into mind. Uh, if you're going to be stuck in a survival situation, definitely have a knife. They can handle a survival situation. <laughs> this may not be everybody's choice, but this is mine. I think it would do very well for for all kinds of uh, bushcrafting uh, type uh, type things and uh, you know things of that nature. Anyways, we'll put that guy down. He is just really a big big knife. As I knock over some other stuff off camera. Anyways. This was my selection for my top uh, fixed blades. Uh, your job in the uh, comments below is uh, just let me know which one of these is your favorites or you know which uh, couple of them are your favorites. You may like some, you may not like some. So just uh, let me know what you think, your opinions, and, uh, and go ahead and tell me uh, also what your desert island knife would be. I think that'll be fun in the comments section. Let's talk about you're stuck on a desert island and, and you get one piece of cutlery you get to take with you. What's it going to be? That'll, that'll be a fun, uh, a fun little quiz there. Anyways, that's it for this one. Look for some more. The rest of this week will be, uh, be a best of week. So this was best fixed blades or best of my fixed blades. What I thought were the best. Like I said, each one has a more in-depth uh, video of its own. You can go check the library for that. And I will see you in the next one. We'll talk to you then, guys.